How to geolocate in ArcMap 10. Geolocating is the process of plotting tabular data to your map using addresses of, or longitude and latitude coordinates. In this example, we will geolocate the locations of businesses in the Peel Census Division from an Excel table in ArcMap 10. In ArcMap, let's open a data layer of your area of interest. Check that it has an undefined projection by locating the files of your data layer in your documents and deleting the PRJ file. Click Yes. Let's add that same data layer by selecting the Add Data icon, locating the file, and clicking Add. Now, let's add the data table of Peel Businesses by clicking on the Add Data icon, locating your file, selecting the correct Excel sheet containing the data, and clicking Add. Right-click on the table in the Table of Contents and select Display XY Data. Ensure that beside the X field, Longitude is selected. Ensure that beside the Y field, Latitude is selected. Here we can choose a coordinate system for the table by selecting the Edit button. Click Select. Let's change it to a geographic coordinate system. Select North American, NAD 1983, Add and then OK. Click OK again as needed. You will see that the business points have been added in the table of contents as events. To view it in the data view, right click on the data layer and select Zoom to layer. The points are events but are not entirely a data layer yet. To save them as a shapefile, right click on the events and select data, export data. Ensure that all features is selected. Give your new shapefile an appropriate name. Click OK. The new shapefile is added to your map. Remove events from the table of contents. You might notice that the points have not ideally matched up within the peel data layer. This might be due to the projection of the data frame. Right click on the data frame and click on data frame properties. Change the projection to NAD 1983 UTM Zone 17. Click OK. You can now see that the business points are over top the Peel data layer. For further instruction in ArcMap, please visit our video archives.